only a few months late. This is part whatever of the Profusion Holiday Collection. I only actually have like one more of these videos and then I'll be done. This was a huge collection. Hey guys, Madeline Murray here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am finishing up the Profusion Holiday Collection. There is like a series of videos because it was just such a huge collection and I was fortunate enough to kind of get gifted all of it. And um, yeah, so for this one, it is the 52 Shade Face and Eye Palette. Looks about like this. Have some bronzers and highlighters that folded, some blushes. Then it's like a light purple and pink blush. I like that purple. We'll see how that looks. And then just a, a variety of different kind of pastel shades for eyeshadow. So we'll just kind of try, see how the bronzers work, how the highlighters work. One thing about this brand, I absolutely adore their highlighters. They're always very good, very good quality. I could use them as eyeshadows. I can use them as highlighters. Um, a lot of the time, though, some of the highlighters have pigment added to them. So whenever I put them on my face, it it's like it's pink or it's blue. And it just kind of looks like a very harsh line. Um, and for those, I end up using those as eyeshadows. So I'm going to swatch those. There's four. There's this little white, a gold, pinky gold. You cannot see that. There's a very slight difference between those two. There's like a pinky and then kind of a more bronzy. You can tell, so that's what they look like on my fingertips. And um, just gonna swatch here. Ooh, that pink's pretty, but I think that pink's gonna have some um, like harsh pigment to it. These two are gonna have a lot harsher of a pigment than these two, so these would make great eyeshadows. Um, it's obviously, you know, for a fair to deeper skin tone, which even then, I don't know. I mean, there's not a whole lot of range, but we'll see. Um, it has like this little nude color, just a skin tone color, and then three bronzers. It also has four blushes, and I'm just gonna swatch those. That purple's deep, oh my goodness. So that's the pink, more pink, more pink, and then that's the purple. Purples are very hard, so I don't quite know how I feel about it. Kind of feels a little bit streaky, but these are only like one layered. So take that with you as you want. I might go in and double layer real quick, just to show you that most of these products are pretty buildable. I think that these two over here, this little red, like the top two, those top two are gonna be my go-to. I feel like these are not gonna be really for me. The purple looks pretty though. Like I really like that purple. Might use it as an eyeshadow, cause why not? Um, and yeah, I will swatch some of these, the eyeshadows. Goodness, these little, like, I absolutely just dropped that, but there's a lot of eyeshadows here. I'm only gonna swatch a few. Might do some like little lighter colors. Definitely wanna do the ones that have like the mixed um, eyeshadows. It's like this little purple and then this color over here. It's like a weird mixed shimmer so I'm curious what those end up looking like but I'm going to wipe off my arms, drop stuff, wipe off my arms and come back and swatch those. We have a very unique color story. It's very cool like we have a lot of purples, blues, um, pinks, and then it's got some kind of like more nude, more natural, like browns, like a deep red, like a maroon almost. Um, so I'll kind of pick different ones <laughs> and show you guys because I'm not even sure what eyeshadow look I'm gonna do. I'm kind of looking more towards the reds that are in here. Um, but first we're gonna start with some of these shimmers. Ooh, one of these is really pretty. Um, just to see how they look. I'm a big fan of shimmers. And they got like one, a shimmer for like every section. Ew. 
that sounded awful but um so that was the the one that's mixed it's like a weird silvery brown I don't know that one's pretty it's like a little gray and then that's the blue which you can't really tell or not blue but that purpley pinky weird okay there we go double layer yeah and then that's the one that I said was really pretty and that's gonna be really pretty on the eyes so this one the very first one it was supposed to be kind of a navy blue shimmer definitely just needed to be built upon more to like bring it up but navies and blues are really hard for makeup brands a lot of the time they don't pay off what they should but um I think the only other thing that I didn't swatch was like there's a few shimmery purples which we're here we're here why not so this is one of the shimmers again I think this would need another layer like the navy but it's pretty we got a blue and then a little gold so this is the blue blue's fine and then the gold those are very very pigmented um I actually have my little like hand wipe here so I'm gonna wipe off all of this stuff that's on me um I think that I want to swatch some of the more pastel colors and like maybe some of the more brighter colors just to see how they look because we have those deep dark purples and navy so I'll probably do like four four and four like four little pastels and then four darker colors here are our colors and honestly it could go kind of either way sometimes especially with mattes sometimes your darker colors need to be built upon okay and sometimes the pastels need to be built upon that one did not show up as well as the others of course it is only one swatch but that purple did not want to come okay so we're gonna build up on that purple Ooh, that's not good so that purple is not a pastel that is that one right there and that's kind of a deeper purple so that's very confusing now to make it a little bit darker I ended up mixing two purples I ended up mixing that one onto that one because for some reason that one purple is not is not purple in so but other than that I mean like everything they're buildable you can make them darker as for the pastels that's the pink very light it's the blue that is like a even lighter blue I think it's supposed to be mint but that is not just not doing it okay so we're gonna try to build those up so here is that blue make her show up a little bit more the pink I just don't feel like these are building as well as the deeper colors were I mean they're there but they're very light and then really light pink and that's kind of as deep as they'll get is that right there starting with the blushes I'm mixing that pink and that red there is a bit of fallout that is coming out onto this so that's pretty that's a very light kind of blush I know I've been reviewing the ice cream beauty and they had a few blushes that um were really pigmented and so I used basically the same amount that I used from this and it like looked like a sunburn it was so dark and so I'm so used to like for this being a little bit heavy-handed and like really digging and for that one it was just like no you don't have to do that those two colors combined to make a really cute little blush moment um going to go in with the lighter colors of the bronzer dipping into both of them and whenever I say that I mean like I'm using both colors and I'm just going to bronze where I normally do and hope that it doesn't make me look too orange now my eyelids are primed I think I'm gonna go in with this like little maroon color 
on the edge, have a little shimmer on the inner corner. Put that glitter, that little gold moment in the inner corner. Very simple, very cute. Um, might give some pastels in the crease. I don't know, we're gonna see. But first, we're gonna start with this little maroon on the edge. I have a little helper with me. <laughs> hey. Oh gosh, she is very clingy. We got her in January and she's very clingy. So a lot of the time she'll be sitting on this chair with me as I'm doing makeup because she just, she can't leave the room. Um, I'm gonna go in with like a lighter pink, not necessarily the pastel that I showcased earlier. This is kind of a deeper pink, it's like duller. The other one was supposed to be like, kind of like a pop of color. It looked like more bubblegum pink, but anyway, we're gonna put this on the lid. This is gonna be a little pink look. I think that blended really good. These shadows are blending pretty good, but I will say that I am layering a good bit. I've at least layered this color three times. The pink I had to layer a good bit. Um, so they're not, a few of them vary in pigmentation, which I'm not that ecstatic about. Um, I will say that I have had better palettes from Profusion that didn't take a lot of layering, um, but this one kind of does. So I'm gonna take this little shimmer and just pop it in the inner corner. So for my lower lash, I think I want this a deep purple. Kind of want to have just a contrast of color here. So this is the finished look. Looks crazy without liner and lashes, I know, but I have another video to film for liner and lashes and everything else. So I'm just gonna leave this as it is but we added some purple. I have a cute little like blue line, added a lot of color. Wanted to do something a little bit crazy. Still love, you'll have to pry inner corner highlight just from my dead body because I absolutely love it. Um, but with that said, speaking of highlight, I'm going to use maybe this little like whitish color and hopefully it comes off onto this brush and we'll just see it if it's blinding at all which i'm not seeing a whole lot i see a tiny little light but i don't know maybe i'm crazy i feel like you just you have to use your finger and then finishing up i've used my finger to apply the highlight because i feel like it just actually highlights and if you want to like dull it down you can always just take it and rub it also don't pay attention to the color difference i used the wrong concealer earlier whenever i was concealing so now my face is darker than my neck, but we're just gonna pull my tank top up and ignore that. And that's kind of me using the palette to create a look. Um, personally, I feel like a lot of the collection was a lot of the same things, just different format. The next video I'm gonna do has a blush, bronze, and highlight kit along with four eyeshadows. So I guess it just depended on which one you were more drawn to, how you wanted it. Um, personally, this one was not my favorite. Um, I felt like the colors, other than the shimmers and stuff, were really hard to get payoff on. Um, the highlight is fine. I just had to use my finger. Um, the blushes were fine. I think the bronzer was okay. I do feel a little bit orange, but I ended up using that darker color to kind of just deepen it a little bit. Um, but... I have it. I think it's a good starter kit. A lot of holiday collections, especially when they go on sale, because I'm sure that this is probably on sale on their website. Um, but a lot of the time, they're really good for if you're just wanting to play with makeup, experiment with makeup. The colors are there. They blended. They're great. Um, you can tell the purple from the blue, from the maroon to the pink. You can tell that there is a separation of the colors, which is good. They were buildable to make that. But like I said earlier, my little cat saying hello. Um, as I said earlier, though, there are Profusion palettes that have a more pigmented color story um, than this one. For some reason, I feel like there, and I've said this in many videos, I feel like there are two Profusion formulas, almost like how people felt that way with Morphe. Um, but I feel like there's some palettes that the mattes in it are so creamy, so good. They just have a wonderful payoff. And then sometimes there's mattes that are just kind of drying and kind of streaky. Um, and I feel like this one had that other formula in it, but I mean, it wasn't bad. And again, if you could find it on sale somewhere, I would recommend getting it then. 
Um, I can't even remember what the full price version of it was. Um, but with that said, I would give it maybe like six out of 10 because it still did what it did. Like it's a good, good all face palette. Um, is it my favorite? Probably not, but I did, I did like it. I'm going to use it. I'm going to try to hit pan in it. We'll see what happens with that. But anyway, that is the end of the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you're new here, if you're not new here, turn on the bell to be notified every time I upload, which is every Monday and Friday. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.